Hello, hello guys. Today we are going to be setting up quite possibly the coolest double stroller I've ever encountered. It is the new Strolly double stroller. That's also a single stroller. So you're gonna wanna keep watching. All of my gear laying here on the couch and we are going to set up this double stroller. I know, you think, whoa, what are you talking about? This is two single strollers. Let me show you. We're gonna set up this double stroller for the Disney parks. So I am here with my husband. So we have been using it in single mode, but we're gonna set it up for double mode. I'm gonna show you all the accessories that I've got for these things and how we are utilizing them in the Disney parks because having a good stroller set up can make or break your day I'm not gonna lie before we start strapping the stuff on the stroller though I did want to quickly introduce myself hi my name is Ashley and here on my channel pixie dust and mom I am all the time sharing tips and just a helpful knowledge in general about planning your Disney vacation traveling here as a family as well as vlogs from our adventures all along the way so if that is content that you're interested in having and if you want to lower those pre Disney vacation stress levels just a little bit then let's go ahead and click that red subscribe button i would love to have you now let's set up these strollers one more thing before we start setting up the strollers thank you so much to strolly for sponsoring today's video i will have a link to the strollers down below so you can check them out you can use them in a single mode a double mode so however you are needing them they've got a lot of options and it is a really really incredible stroller so i will have that link down below now let's set them up for disney so with these strollers i actually have them already semi set up because there are certain factors that i use in in the Disney parks, but I also use at the airport for travel, that sort of thing. So here on the side, I do have these two hooks. You do have to strap them on very loosely though. So I will say that in this positioning, I have it figured out to where this is like the perfect situation. You do have to put them on loose, but you can hang them here. And I'm going to show you exactly why later. I am so excited that I figured that out. But if you do it loose, the stroller has no issues collapsing. If you do it really tight, then it will not collapse on you. So just one thing to note, you do need to make sure that is loose. And these are great. You can, your kids can use them as handles. I can hook water bottles here. I can hook um, different things. And so that is really helpful. Coming down I do have our little tag along stroller handle this thing is incredible we absolutely love it and it's a really nice place for the girls to be able to hold on to plus it gives a little bit further spacing that way I'm not <laughs> accidentally potentially rolling over them this is great for any stroller but I always have them this is a go-to for any of them coming around to the front of the stroller I do have our stroller liner in here I cannot tell you how many times this has saved our stroller from Mickey bars and spilled juice boxes and all kinds of stuff stuff, acts, potty accidents, like you name it, it happens in these strollers and especially at Disney World. So I went ahead and have this in here as well. And I will just, when I'm gate checking my stroller, make sure this is buckled and then the, the seat liner will not come out, fall out, anything like that. If you take nothing away from stroller accessories, that one is universal and it's incredibly helpful. And then down here on the front, I just have it tucked in the basket so it's not in their way when they're getting in and out of the stroller. But this is the stroller strap. So when you are collapsing it down the stroller, you can pull this out and be able to carry it as a shoulder strap for getting on and off of transportation. Um, if you have to carry it at, just at any point, this is really, really helpful. And so that is actually from Strolly. And everything that I am showing, I will have linked in the description box below if you want to check that out. So that is kind of what that looks like. You do have a bit, just a little bit of a tour here. You do have a bit of a pocket here on the back for storage. We have stickers in there, cause you know, we're at Disney. So stickers are everywhere here, but we have that. And then you do have a pretty good size for a compact stroller. You've got a good size little basket going on down here. So we can have a space for that. You've got your brake on this side, your um, go on that side, your release on that side basically. And then on the other side of the stroller, I do have another one of those hooks. So let's start setting this thing up and get ready for Disney. So first thing I'm going to do is to move it into double mode and then we'll officially set it up. So you can put them in any order, but I have my favorites. <laughs> so we're going to put this one in the front and this one in the back. All you have to do, get them close together. And then from there, you just lift the front stroller and there is this little bar that needs to go down into the footrest of the back stroller. So you just click that in. You just heard the click and there you go. You are now in double stroller mode. So you have them connected together. So whatever I do with the back one, the front one's gonna do as well. And they have what is called the link bars. And these are gonna go on the side of the stroller just to give it more sturdy, um, strong connection. So you're gonna link one here in the front and then you're gonna link one in the back. So there you go. Got one on one side, on the other side here link those in together and you have that 
nice and strong and sturdy being able to push this together and it pushes really well i was a little skeptical on how the push would be with the stroller like this but it's actually really good so i'm not going to complain about it um, biggest suggestion though is to put your heavier child in the back if you can um, and then your lighter child in the front um, sometimes they may need more leg room as my daughter has gotten a bit older um, she does need more leg room for a four-year-old um, so she has been riding in the front so pushing it on when it's that way does get a little trickier for turning but it is still very much so possible um, so you can kind of alternate and see which one works best for you but yeah definitely move around and the nice thing about these is they do have up to 50 pound weight limits so you're gonna get a pretty decent sized toddler in this stroller for being able to do that and the backrest is pretty high you can do a lot with these moving around to the back side of the the back stroller, the rear stroller. We are gonna go ahead and start installing my little stroller caddy, um, parent console, whatever you wanna call this. I love having these so much because it gives a nice spot to put things as you're pushing through the park. I can store my kids' water bottles here and I can throw my camera in here, my phone, whatever I need. It works really, really well. Now I will say my taller, like I have a 32 ounce water bottle and my 32 ounce water bottle won't fit in here without like leaning way back. So I don't usually do that. I actually hang it on the side of the stroller instead or I'll put it in the cup holder, which we're gonna show in a second. But as far as my girls' water bottles that are about 20 ounces, so they hold a lot of water, good size water bottle, but they fit in here just perfectly. And then I can just open this pocket, throw my camera in and out of here, my phone, anything like that. I'm pushing through the parks it's just amazing to have a little bit of storage just right there that you can like tuck things into so that is perfect next up I am going to install this cup holder they have one that can go on the side um, but I like that this one has an extra pocket for storage I can put my phone in here I can put a snack in here whatever I need so I have that and you can twist this thing to any angle that you need so for me, I like to have it on the right side. I am right-handed, so I can drink my coffee, and here we go. That is nice and secure in there. You can see it is literally rocking the entire stroller, me just like trying to push on this thing. But it is perfect for being able to push. I still have room to grab onto the handlebar here, and it's really convenient, and it can still even stay on when I collapse the stroller, which is just gold, like absolute gold. Next up, this is the actual strolly cup holder that goes with the stroller. And it's just going to quite literally just snap on to this front of the stroller. So I absolutely love that. Clips onto that little black center there, center bar there that is on this um, middle bar. And so they have access to a place for snacks. They have a place for their cup. So it is awesome that it snaps on there and you can keep this on there even when you collapse it to get on transportation you can do that I wouldn't gate check any of these accessories that I'm putting on now I would not gate check these at, like in your stroller um, when you are doing that at the airport but as far as here at Disney you can definitely do that when you're collapsing it to get on the bus you don't have to take these off and put them in a bag or do anything like that you can leave those on and then this is also the cup holder that comes with the stroller that um, you can attach to it so it will attach either here in the rear or here on the the second bar or when you take these the link bars off there's a notch on there that looks just like this one and you can attach it there I am going to attach this one back here that way we have another cup holder for one but then also if we split off then when we take the link bars off my husband can attach it to his stroller and then we can each have our own cup holder and that way we've got somewhere to put coffee water bottle whatever even my big 32 ounce water bottle fits in here which is awesome I absolutely love that fact that it fits in so many different spots and then last but not least for cup holders and we're putting all the cup holders on here that's like <laughs> I feel like it's such an important part of the stroller though, but we're gonna do this for the second one. Since it is in double mode, I can't use the original cup holder from the company on this one, but I can attach it on the side. So let's attach this really quick. It is on there, sturdy. You can turn it obviously any way to attach. So this thing is very secure. Next up, we are going to attach these three fans to the stroller. And I know you're probably like, why the heck are you attaching three different fans to the stroller? Well, let me show you and explain. So for one, these are not just regular stroller fans. These are misting stroller fans. They have this huge 100 milliliter tank here that you can fill up with water and it is an amazing cool mist. It just amplifies the cooling factor of the fan. That way you're not just blowing hot air on yourself. It really does make such a difference. I can't tell you how much of a difference, but it is just so good. Like I, I can't quantify it 
but it helps so much. But it is also USB-C rechargeable, so we can be able to just plug these in, recharge them between times. Plus, the thing I love about this one versus a lot of the others is it has these little quick release buttons here on the side, as you can see. So if I push those in, it pops right off. So when this is attached to the stroller and I need to recharge it, I need to refill it, I can easily just squeeze those, pop it off, do what I need to do, and then stick it right back on. So it's super convenient and works really well. And with these bendable legs, I can literally attach this anywhere that I want to because these things are sturdy and strong. They're not going anywhere and it can blow and my child can be cool in that seat. So let's do the rest of them and I'll explain some of the reasoning for the third fan. And then the last fan is for yours truly. Cause you're probably like, why are you putting three fans on a double stroller? Well, it's for me. So it's gonna go right here in the center. That way, as I am pushing the stroller around on those extremely hot summer days here at Disney World, I can also have a fan that is going to be blowing on me, cooling me off, and that way I can enjoy this and be able to push the stroller and not having to like hold a fan, try to juggle my iced coffee, film, take pictures and like do all the things. I just have this and it's just like, you just stand here and just blow and cool off and it just feels absolutely heavenly. So this is another great thing. And again, you can just pop the side, pop it off, charge it, refill it. This thing is <laughs> insanely amazing and I have way too excited and way too in love with a stroller fan. That's just the situation. Next up, we are going to grab the last gear. So we have all of our, got our stroller rain covers. We have our rain gear in here and rain jackets. I do take my umbrella out, but that way I can leave the umbrella either hanging from the stroller or in the basket down below so that it doesn't trigger security. Because if I leave it in this bag, when I have to take all bags with me, because you have to take all bags, all bags with you through security. When you head up there, they're gonna make you take your backpack, your personal bag, your mommy bag, your rain bag, anything that is a bag is going to have to come off. Cooler bags, everything. So since this bag's gonna have to come with me, I don't want it to set off the metal detector. An umbrella laying in the basket, they are just fine with. They'll just be like, oh, that's an umbrella. Congratulations, you brought one, you're smart. Um, so there you go, it's gonna just hang out under there. And that way, when I take this through, it's not setting me off. So we've got that, we've got rain gear, so we are set. And I'm just gonna toss this in the bottom. I will say with the rain gear, if you are coming and it's going to be raining basically every day, you're especially coming in those summer months, um, even in the non-summer months, it can be really helpful to do this. But instead of putting it under the basket, just put it on the stroller. What I'll do is roll it up and roll it to where it lands and just lays on top of the canopy. And that way, anytime I park it, we're gonna be inside for any extended period of time, going in to ride a ride or see a show or dinner, lunch, whatever. Go ahead, roll that thing down because I can't tell you how many times I have seen so many families that didn't do that. And I've learned from their mistakes over the years of like people watching, but they would come out and they would have a soaking wet stroller. And yeah, it can dry and there's the heat and all that, but right when you have a dry kid in a fancy outfit, you don't want them getting soaking wet on their back because they're sitting in a wet stroller. And sometimes like, I mean, if you haven't seen it, like mold and you know, we're just not gonna go on all that. Let's just keep it dry, put the rain cover on and save yourself the headache. And then you remember those hooks that I was so excited about in the beginning? Well, I can hang up my backpack from it. So this backpack is one of the Vera Bradley campus backpacks. So it doesn't have D rings for stroller hooks, which if you had that and you had straps for, or like hooks for a stroller, you could attach them in the same position. Just make sure they're really loose again and then just be able to hang it. But since I don't have that option, I can hang my backpack right here and it's not touching the ground, even though it's a large backpack. Plus it's also helping for it to be closer to the center of gravity versus hanging it off the end. Everybody just hangs their backpack right off the handlebar, which I mean, that's great. It's convenient. You can get in and out of it really easily, but you're doing the whole game of take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on all day long. Every time you come to your stroller, you take the kid out. If the kid climbs out of the stroller and you're turned around grabbing coffee, guess what? You're 
strollers hitting the ground every single time no matter what. But with this method, even in single mode, then I don't have to worry about it. I can still hang it here whether there's a kid in it or not, whether I've got my hand on it or not. This positioning is like gold. So if you have a compact stroller, I would highly recommend trying this, putting it lower down, that way it's closer to the body of the stroller, kind of evens out that center of gravity versus hanging it off the back so it's just like I, every time, like every time. Um, Cause I tried that the very first time and I'm like, I hate this. Like this is not gonna, this is not floating for me. Like I'm used to my Vista, I'm used to a double stroller that I can attach my bag to. So we've got to find a better solution than me having to take this on and off all day. Cause I'm, I, I don't want to do that. Like I just, I don't know if I'm being lazy or I'm being smart or crafty, but I'm just like, I'm not doing that all day long. <laughs> so that is one really great option, um, even in single mode. And because I know you're gonna be like, okay, well how on earth are you getting that on a Disney bus? The monorails, the Skyliners, yeah, this is gonna be fine. You'll get it on there, it's just easy peasy. You can also do it on some of the boats that you can push onto, but getting on a boat that requires you to collapse your stroller, getting onto a bus, how on earth are we doing that? Let me show you. Now I'm quickly gonna show you how we're going to tear down the strollers into single modes and how we would get on the bus. So how that looks, who's carrying what, who's holding whose hand and getting on and that whole kind of, it gets a little frantic. It kind of gets your heart rate going just a little bit. So helping hopefully you see this will get you a little experience and seeing how that looks so that it takes a little pressure off when you get there to the line, you're like, I got this. So here's the single mode. Yep, we're getting on the bus. Okay, the cups. No, that's not like we know what we're doing. We're both getting them to get on the bus. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we've got it all folded down. Fans and everything, as you can see, are still attached. No problem, stroller caddy. We're good to go. <laughs> Bella, he's got the rain gear, his bag. We put cups and cup holders. So it makes it really easy for getting on the bus. Plus, we have this strap that is attached to the stroller mm -hmm. so that we're able to put it on like this and be able to carry it, which is so much easier. And you can get on pretty seamlessly. Now, let us show you in double mode how you separate it and do the whole thing. All right, so this is the stroller in double mode. It is completely connected, just like I showed you when we were setting up, but we're gonna be able to take this apart and then get on the bus. So it's kind of similar to the single mode, but just so you feel comfortable with doing it, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take this apart. All right, so for this, I'm gonna take and unlatch the front connectors. I'm not gonna take them completely off. That way once we get to our destination, it's one less thing we've got to connect. There's no problem. I've not had any issues with leaving them on there to carry it on and then to carry it right back off the bus. But that's how we're gonna do that. And then you do have to separate it at the bottom. There's a lever under the bottom that you do have to pull backwards on and you lift the front, front stroll. There we go. So now the two strollers are officially separated and we can go ahead and fold these down. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna fold this one down with the bars attached. I'm going to pull the lever here at the handle and collapse this down. You can see, they're nice and secure. They're just hanging there, so we're good to go. He's going to take out the rain covers because they can't stay in the bottom. The whole rain pouch, the rain cover itself can, but he's collapsed it and ready to go. That is one thing when you are collapsing, you do have to take everything large out of the basket. The cover, the rain cover itself, it's really thin, so it can stay in the basket, but the rain pouch with our rain jackets and all that kind of stuff does have to come out. All right, you guys, so that is gonna do it for the strolly double stroller setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, red subscribe button. Again, I will have links to all of the products as well as the strollers themselves down below. And thank you so much. And now, welcome to the secret end of the video club. Yes, you are now part of a secret club, which means you also have to leave me a comment with a palm tree emoji. I'm filming this here at the Polynesian, so we're going palm tree is the secret emoji today. So that way, I know you're part of the secret club. But thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye.